Hey guys, it's Harleywood. My daily carry weapon light is the PL2 Valkyrie from Olight. I also have guns strategically placed around the house, and on one of those, I have the PL Mini 2 from Olight. Now, Streamlight and Surefire kind of rule the roost when it comes to weapon lights. Lately, I've been interested in this TLR7 as well as the TLR1. You may see that one on the channel soon. Today, we're actually going to do a comparison of this versus the PL Mini 2. 600 lumens, 500 lumens. So size-wise, they're pretty comparable. Both about the same thickness, both about the same length. It looks like the TLR might be just a tad bit longer. Bigger reflector on the TLR on the Streamlight. But this one supposedly puts out 600 lumens, while this only does 500. We're going to take them outside and compare that in a bit. Let's go over some of the mounting options. They're quite different in terms of how they mount. So on the TLR, they have what's called these rail keys. So if I take out the rod here, you can see there's this insert. And this particular one says Universal 1. It ships with several others that say 1913, Universal 2, 1913 2. These I'll put up on the screen right here are for various pistol types. So if your pistol is shown on the screen here, then one of these will work for yours. Very simple to swap out. Simply put one in place, put the bolt through, and screw it in. Now you can see there's a little spring down in there. That allows you to push that out so that you can mount it on your rail. And then just tighten it down with a flat blade screwdriver and you're good to go. The Olight is quite a bit easier than that. So it has a toggle here and then you see this track in there. The mounting bracket rides on this track. So you get it where you need it to be for your pistol and simply lock that in. Now it does also have what would be the equivalent of those rail keys in here. You can see this one here is for the Glock and it also ships with another one for your standard 1913 Picatinny rail. Now that slot is fairly shallow, it's not quite as deep as it probably should be to get some good purchase on it with a screwdriver. The Olight is definitely much easier to install. Alright, let's talk about the adjustability. Because this one slides, it can fit a wide variety of pistols. Here you see it on a Glock 19. This is a Glock 30S and a Springfield XDS. Now because these paddles come so far back, they actually come just inside the trigger guard a smidge there. You could, if you wanted to, activate it with your index finger. Very easy to activate with your support hand. This is the way you would typically do it. All right? If you absolutely had to, let's say your support hand was occupied, or, uh, you could do it with this hand. Now the TLR7, the activation part is that little ridge right there. Again, if you did have to do it with your index finger, it is really hard to get enough strength to put to get out that far and get enough leverage to push in on that. All right, there it is on a Glock 30. Again, support hand, no problem. I've went ahead and installed the 1913-4 rail key there. It's the one that has the slot piece there as far back as possible. And even with that one in there, it does not come back far enough. There you can see, it doesn't come back far enough to lock up on an XDS. So some of these subcompact pistols, you may have a little bit of trouble getting the TLR7 to mount up on. So in terms of adaptability and able to mount on various platforms, I gotta give the slight edge to the Olight. All right, let's talk about the batteries. So the Olight has an internal battery. It is not removable and it's rechargeable with their magnetic tail caps. This is actually quite nice because there are some holster manufacturers out there who are making openings on the bottom where you can get that charger in there without removing the gun from the holster. If we open this guy up, its power source is a CR123A battery. It is included. Let's talk holster options. In that area, I think the Streamlight is gonna have a little bit more support. 
It's been out a little bit longer. Streamlight is a little more uh, widely accepted as weapon lights, although Olight is blazing up on their trail. The kind of Achilles heel of the PL Mini 2 is the same thing that makes it so great in terms of firearm compatibility, and that is that it is adjustable. Now, for most manufacturers, they're gonna make it for your pistol platform with that light recessed all the way back. If you do something funky, let's say you have super long fingers like this and you like yours way out there, you're probably gonna have a little bit harder time finding a holster manufacturer that'll make it. It also hasn't been out quite as long, so it probably just generally doesn't have as many options out there. Streamlight is gonna cost you about $96, depending on where you shop. I'll post a link in the description below. The Olight's gonna cost you about $89. Now I have a 10% off coupon for Olight, so I'll post a link in the description below as well as that promo code. Let's take them both outside and see how they do. Here we are right on the barn. Olight on the right, Streamlight on the left. So look at the spill on this one on the Olight, not as defined on the Streamlight. More yellow warmth, cooler. Do a little shooting. Up first, the O light. Up next, the stream light. So that target back there is about 18 yards from where I'm standing. This is the O-Light. And from here, look how much of the trees you can see left and right, all right? That's the 600 lumen O-Light. Here is the Streamlight, 500 lumens, a little bit more focused. So you can't see nearly as much of the trees left and right. 500 lumens, again, if you are solely threat focused on what's in front of you, this is a good option if you want to see more of the peripheral and maybe threats that might be outside of the, the focus area of this light, the O-Light might be a better option. Let's put them both side by side in a split screen. So that's it guys. That is the PL Mini 2 from O-Light and the TLR7 from Streamlight. They're only a few dollars apart from each other. In terms of brightness, they're very similar. There's pros and cons to both of them, which we reviewed. You're just gonna have to decide what is most important for you. Don't forget, I have links down in the description below to both of these. Thank you for watching, guys. If you appreciated this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below. Got lots more videos to come, and we'll see you on the next one.